I came back to Ghosts and Goblins. Get a little redemption with it. I'm gonna see how fast I can beat the game. My best so far is 20 minutes on one loop. I'm just gonna do one loop. I'm not gonna do the second loop. It's the exact same game. Um, but that would take probably over 40 minutes. Ain't nobody got that time. So here we go. I'm going to start right now. Oh, TV might be too loud. That'd be good. Alright, so here we go. Come on, ghosts and goblins. Bring it on. Go easy on me, though, a little bit. I want to get that knife. Probably not going to happen, though. Fireball. Don't want it. Alright, so hopefully... Oh, be good against these red devils. There's some armor right here if you jump, but I have armor, so it doesn't appear. I suck at those shielded guys. They always want to kill me. And I have a hard time judging where they're going, so... Ooh, he was right on me. Picking a blanket. See Arthur put picking a blanket in his mouth right there. All right. He sucked a little bit, but since I had armor, it was okay. Okay, stage one, deathless. Five more stages to go. I'm gonna be doing a glitch here on this stage. Believe it or not, I'm kind of upset about that. It's cool if you don't... Like, if you've never seen a glitch and then you see it perform, so... I guess that's okay. And I glitch a lot through Castlevania, but I've also played that game a lot. And just ran out of things to do. <laughs> but this, I almost feel like I don't beat it because of a glitch. Because I'm glitching past, like, probably the second... Oh, hardest thing in the game. If not first. And we gotta get there first. I'm all talking about a glitch I'm not even close to yet. Alright. I guess that's okay. Not, not great. Come on. You gotta lure those guys away from the freaking ladders. Little tattoo boys. Alright, so here's an armor here. That's not a glitch. That's something they put in the game. But I need that to take a damage boost. Then we go flying over the house. No, I missed. You fuckers! There's a fireball. Alright, let's try it one more time. He wasn't quite on the right level that I need him on. So the fun house is going well. If I don't use that glitch, I spend a lot of time killing all these guys. I kill about every damn one of them. 
Because you can kill the ones through the wall here, and that's the safest way to do it. Alright, that was a good run to get up there. So now I gotta hope that stupid bird spawns. Oops, there it is. This is like the bat boost in level 1 of Castlevania. There we go. Except that, like you're just saving time. In this, I feel it's really cheap because you're skipping one of the hardest parts of the game. So if I, you know, I would like to do other categories of speedrunning here, which would definitely be a glitchless. Uh, the only problem with that, though, that I just performed that glitch is I have no armor and I almost died. Cool. Neat. Uh, the unicorns are pretty in a normal pattern here usually. So, well, he did good there. Alright. I got even luckier than I thought. Not on that one so much, but it worked out. Uh, the first unicorn usually jumps over your head. Why wouldn't he? He's a flying unicorn. And then the second unicorn usually sits back. Alright, here we've entered Red Devil Country. An axe. Oh, uh, that's not good though. I mean it is, but then I'll run into a problem in stage 5. That happened the last time I played this too. I got an axe drop, which sucks. The wind is howling outside. I guess that makes sense since I'm playing this. It adds atmosphere. Oof. Oh my god, I've taken my sweet time. Oof. Alright, so that starts a checkpoint there. If I die, I start at the blue. Oh, man. Whoops. Let's see. Okay. I wish I had a better tactic for those guys. Like, that was a good kill right there, but I'm not good enough to do it every time. Sometimes he just chases me all across the fucking map. Kills me. There's armor right behind me if I need it. Okay. I'm um, here. I have to jump over. I have to make this jump. Fucking red devil will be there to get me if I don't. And then I'll kill this red devil with the jousting stick. Don't get that. Okay, and I have to pick up the fireball because this little bone dragon doesn't get hurt by the fucking bullshit. Oh my god, I missed. Okay. Oh, oh my god, that was too fucking close. Ugh. <sighs> I don't like how lucky I'm getting. That was a great segment there though. Other than like me sucking. Okay, this is kind of a pretty easy, just straightforward level. Every level, you know, can give me problems though, so I'm not saying this is a guarantee that I will run right through. First part is really easy. Unfortunately, I have the fireball now. But again, you have to kill that stupid dragon with it. You can't use the javelin thing, whatever the hell it is. Okay. 
Oh man, fucking knew it. And I don't know where the armor is, if there is any. Oh shit. There should be armor in every level. It's just extra. That would come in handy. Guess that should have been something I looked into. Oh my god, what happened? I'm trying to... Ugh. Okay, here we go. Okay. This bone dragon might not spawn because of that thing. Okay, he did. And you want to wait until he moves. If you wake him up, he's going to do a fucking random pattern that I don't really want. Oh, he does the same pattern every time there. If you just let him wake up on his own. Alright, so far so good. Ten minutes in. Two stages to go. But now... This stage isn't incredibly hard, but this is the first stage where you don't get a checkpoint. If you die, you go all the way back to the beginning. Not like at the beginning of this stage, right here where I'm standing. And... It's possible I still get a knife be the last stage that I'd be able to use it. Oh shit, I did not want that. Because those skeleton guys suck. We almost just saw one jump out at me. There we go. Okay, jerk. Fucking, the pigs in the blanket and those little blue demons are fucking horrible. There's a red devil just sitting there meditating. These guys aren't incredibly fun to kill with the fireball. It's not too bad, though. Get over here. And luring him away from the goddamn ladder really sucks. Alright, this level has the easiest armor to pick up. They pretty much just throw it at you. I don't think you do anything special. I think it just shows up. Pick in a blanket. Okay, he's being a fucking bitch. And the longer I wait, the more pigs in a blanket probably spawn. You fucking dick. Go, go, go. Get the fuck over here, Red Speedo, man. Oh, like he wasn't hanging off the edge and gonna die. Don't you fucking fall down that fucking pit and start all over. All because pig in a fucking blanket. Alright, hopefully that son of a bitch doesn't cause me a problem. Okay, so this guy's kind of rough. Usually I'll use the same pattern with them. Let's hope it works. Not that's the time. Oh man, oh fuck! So now I gotta go to that whole fucking thing. And there's no editing in these videos because it's a fucking speed run. <sighs> I was doing great on time. I was probably sitting at about 18 minutes if I beat the game. And what the fuck is that? Those little Satan guys or whatever they are really fucking cause me problems. I need to have a better strategy with them. Racco! You're always crying when I'm playing games. Get over here. Uh-oh, we got a problem because that's our problem. So if I need, I can respawn the armor. 
Hopefully I don't need it. I don't want to go all the way back down to get it. And Red Speedo guy's not up here. Okay. He might magically show up. Sometimes when they're not on the screen, they just, like, come out of nowhere and fucking just kill you. It's okay because I perform glitches in games, so it's okay when a glitch comes back to kill me. I won't get too upset. Actually, I probably will throw some shit. Okay. Okay. That wasn't bad. That was bad. It's like I need to be patient. Oh, fuck! I'm so bad at that! And you have to press select to go fucking down. Don't you dare not do that. This really sucks. One more death and I'll have to redo the speed run. I didn't expect to have too many problems with this level and honestly I haven't. It's been that fucking Satan guy. I've got to him twice with the full health shit. You're a dick. Okay, get up. Uh, if those pigs in a blanket aren't fucking bad enough, they shoot bones too at you. Get the fuck out of here. Dropping your blue shits all over me. So this level sets up nicely, but... I've just been fucking up. Here he comes. <laughs> now he's here to stay. This would be a game to have a turbo button for. Okay, third time. Oops. I shouldn't be having this much of a fucking problem, especially with my tactic I use. Okay, I just have to be fucking careful here. You want to get far away from that thing, because that thing can touch your fucking toe and kill you. Okay, see? <laughs> that thing was out to get me. Okay, fucking key appears. <sighs> so doing much worse on time here. I'd have to have a perfect final level to even get 20 minutes. Okay. You're a bag of dicks. So this level is I think it's much harder than the one I just did. And the big problem is, once I get to the end, there's two Satans. This bone dragon doesn't die from the joust. You have to kill him with this thing. I'm making fun of those guys in their red speedos. Look what I'm fucking wearing. Okay, this is the hardest part of the fucking game. Even harder than that fucking house of Red Speedo Men. These next two ladder climbs are the worst fucking things. Uh, the shield's kind of cool because it blocks projectiles. So I gotta trigger this guy. And then just die from him because... Pig in a blanket spawned right on top of 
a fight. An epic battle's going on. Fucking pig in a blanket comes in. So now I gotta fight two of those fucking Satan guys. If I get to them without pig in a blanket spawning. I gotta fight two of these fucking guys with only my little bit of health. The shield I'm more comfortable with fighting with these guys. Ah, oh, fuck. He fucking flew down on me. I didn't expect to beat that. Alright, here we go. Fourth quarter. Two minute warning. Here we fucking go. Oh shit, that guy doesn't die from the shield up there, the unicorn, so you have to switch out your weapons. Hopefully I can get through without getting hit. Okay. Every once in a while there's a pattern where he charges right at you and kills you. Okay. So now we have armor back up if we need it. Because the armor spawns right over there, but I haven't lost this armor yet. Fucking fireball right there. If you pick it up, fuck. That was close. I wish that would have gone better. Sometimes that bone man above me gets triggered for some reason. I don't know why. And when he does, you're pretty much fucked. Get off me. Oh, that was close. He almost took a dump on me. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, he just flew off the screen. Get up there closer. Come on. Where'd you go, dickbag? Okay, pigs in a bank. Blah, blah. Pigs in a blanket start fucking spawning everywhere. And I'm gonna get real fucking lucky if I don't get hit by one. Oh! Get the fuck away! Throwing their fucking bone at me. Here comes one. <gasps> <sighs> fucking dicks. So you're able to come back down here and get the armor. That's okay. Okay, I really am not comfortable with this. Please despawn. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty much worthless to go down there and get the fucking armor. But with Satan, you want every fucking chance you can get. Okay, kind of triggered that guy. Sweet ass fucking time here. Hopefully I don't get a fucking bad route from this guy. Sometimes he goes straight down. He didn't, but... Uh, okay, if I play it cool, hot shot, I might be able to beat him. Okay, I played that wrong, but I'm still gonna... Okay. A little bit out of fucking time here. Okay, you gotta go all the way fucking over here. Because you don't want to be standing in the way of that when you're trying to avoid this guy. Here we go. It's alright. Oh shit, 17 seconds. Okay, fuck you. 12 seconds. Alright, so this isn't a very impressive speed run. It'll be 24 minutes. I'm not stoked about that. And here's the easiest boss in the game. And there's like no high stakes either. If you lose, you just keep fighting him. So it'd be one thing, it'd be a lot of fucking pressure if you died and then had to go all the way back or something. Uh, so that's it, 2347. This room is an illusion, is tr a tra- So, there we go. That's 
Ghosts and Goblins in 23 minutes and 47 seconds. Loop 1. <laughs> 